a change was brought about in index 116 there was an amendment in index 116 two paragraphs were inserted and this change gave an option to the lessee basically there was a relaxation given to the lessee that if there is any rent related concession arising out of covid 19 pandemic generally you would have considered that to be a lease modification correct but if it is a rate rent concession and if it meets certain conditions and it is directly a consequence of covid 19 pandemic then the lessee may choose to ignore this particular lease modification basically the lessee may consider that this change is not a lease modification if the lessee wants if the lessee is happy to do the accounting the complex accounting you can consider that to be a lease modification but if the lessee wants if the lessee chooses then the lessee can consider that this particular change is not a lease modification now what do i mean by this particular change is not a lease modification it basically means you don't need to remeasure your lease liability if certain conditions are met only the lessee the lessor does not have this choice only the lessee can opt to consider that this particular change is not a lease modification now this is what we understand as a practical expedient practical expedient meaning practically it is better if you allow the lessees to ignore these kind of lease modifications more for a convenience purpose these kind of exemptions are given right but this please note will be applicable only to the lessee second it is only for rent concessions arising out of covid 19 pandemic so the cut off date for reduction in rentals is 30th of june of 2022 so there can be reduction in rentals till the time of 30th of june of 2022 after that there can be an increase as well okay to keep yourself updated subscribe to indigo learn and click the bell icon and download our app onefin to start learning on the go during the covid 19 pandemic there were lockdowns imposed across different locations not only in india but across the world and because of this lockdowns a lot of businesses had suffered and many of these businesses were running their business based on leased assets it could be a leased property it could be a leased equipment it could be any other leased asset there were assets which were taken on lease now think of it from the point of view of the lessee who has taken these assets on lease because of the lockdown the business is not running properly there is a, there is a lot of disruption in business the business has fallen but the rental payment is continuing the rental payment has not stopped and because of this a lot of businesses faced difficulties in fact we at indigo learn also faced this difficulties to you know pay rentals when the first lockdown was imposed now the other thing was this was not something which was expected no one had anticipated that there would be extended periods of lockdown there would be extended periods of extensions so so across locations what happened was lessee started requesting the lessors that please reduce the rentals please give us some form of concession or please give us a scheme where we can defer the payment so the option that we chose was we asked the landlord that you know can we pay 50% rental for the another 6 months period and whatever is the shortfall in this 6 months period we'll compensate that by making a higher rental payment later on when the business actually resumes because the office premises was not being used employees were not attending office everyone was working from home the business got disrupted the exams got postponed so business was impacted so what we did was we requested the landlord saying that okay for the next 6 months allow us to pay 50% rentals post that whatever is the shortfall in the first you know first 6 months period we'll compensate it in the later period or there could be arrangements where the lessees would have asked the lessors to waive off the rentals for a specified period and see because this was a pandemic situations a lot of lessors also agreed to reduce the lease rentals or to waive off the lease rentals or saying that you know whenever you have you know good business whenever your business starts recovering you can start paying at that point of time so such kind of arrangement were made between lessor and lessee now tell me one thing is this not a modification when i ask my landlord that i will pay a reduced rental for the next 6 months and i'll compensate it by paying extra rental in the balance 6 months period is it not a lease modification or if the lessor says that you don't need to pay me 3 months of rental is it not a lease modification it actually is a lease modification so what happened was because of this pandemic and lockdown related restrictions and renegotiations between the lessor and the lessee there were cases where a lot of these should have been accounted for as lease modifications and it became really complex see one side you have to handle the pandemic on top of it you are saying this is lease modification recalculate the lease payments recalculate the present value you know check for lease you know check for increase in scope decrease in scope all of those things actually made life more complex so to take care of this situation a change was brought about in index 116 there was an amendment in index 116 two paragraphs were inserted and this change gave an option to the lessee basically there was a relaxation given to the lessee that 
if there is any rent related concession arising out of covid 19 pandemic generally you would have considered that to be a lease modification correct but if it is a rate rent concession and if it meets certain conditions and it is directly a consequence of covid 19 pandemic then the lessee may choose to ignore this particular lease modification basically the lessee may consider that this change is not a lease modification if the lessee wants, if the lessee is happy to do the accounting, the complex accounting, you can consider that to be a lease modification. But if the lessee wants, if the lessee chooses, then the lessee can consider that this particular change is not a lease modification. Now, what do I mean by this particular change is not a lease modification? It basically means you don't need to remeasure your lease liability. You do not need to measure your lease liability. Then how will we account for that? We'll come to that accounting aspect uh, slightly later. But but please understand, if certain conditions are met, only the lessee, the lessor does not have this choice, only the lessee can opt to consider that this particular change is not a lease modification. There are some conditions which we will be understanding and this relates only to rental concessions arising due to COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, So, if at all there is a concession, we will also understand what is the meaning of concession. If at all there is a concession, only then this exemption can be applied. Now, this is what we understand as a practical expedient. Practical expedient meaning practically it is better if you allow the lessees to ignore these kind of lease modifications. It is not more for a convenience purpose, these kind of exemptions are given, right? But this, please note, will be applicable only to the lessee. Second, it is only for rent concessions arising out of COVID-19 pandemic, okay? There are also timelines given which we will be understanding. So, I am reading out two paragraphs, paragraph 46A and 46B, which brought about this amendment in India S116 considering the COVID-19 pandemic. So, paragraph 46A mentions that, as a practical expedient, it's a matter of convenience, okay. As a practical expedient, a lessee may elect not to assess whether a rent concession that meets the condition in paragraph 46B is a lease modification. So, if some conditions which are given in paragraph 46B is satisfied, the lessee may choose to consider that a particular change is not a lease modification. Otherwise, if the lessee wants, they can choose. That's completely up to the choice of the lessee. A lessee that makes this election shall account for any change in lease payments resulting from the rent concession the same way it would account for the change applying this standard if the change were not a lease modification. Slightly complex sentence basically what it means is whatever is the lease concession do not account for it as a lease modification account for it as if it was any other lease payment without considering lease modification. Now what do I mean by that? So now let us take an example and understand how would the lessee account for it if it is not considered to be a lease modification. Now, let us take a hypothetical situation and see how would the lessee apply this particular practical expedient in considering the rent related concession. Okay. So, say there was a lease which was which commenced on 1st of April of 2018 with a lease term of 5 years. Lease have to be paid at 31st March of every year that is first payment starts from 31st March of 2019 and the discount factor is 5 percent. Okay. So, how will you do? You will calculate the lease liability and ROU asset at commencement. Okay. So, what is the discounting factor you will consider? Let us take present value of 5 percent for a period of 5 years payment of 1 let us say up to 3 decimals if you see you get 4.3290. Okay. So, what is the lease liability? Lease liability at commencement would be your 1 lakh multiplied by 4.3290 which that comes to 4,32,900. Okay. Now, if you prepare a lease schedule, you have the opening balance of 4,32,900, then interest at 5 percent. So, this multiplied by 5 percent which gives you 21,645, payment of 1 lakh. Closing balance would be opening balance plus interest minus payment you get. 3,45,545. Okay. And when did this happen? This payment would have happened on 31st of March of 19. Okay. Like this, you will prepare, you will consider opening balance in year 2, interest at 5 percent, payment of 1 lakh, closing balance. This would have happened on 31st of March of 20. Okay. Now, the COVID pandemic struck in 
around Jan February 20 in India if I talk about and lockdown was imposed in March 20. Okay. So, we can assume that for March 20 because he had used the premise for the entire period, it was paid. So, after the payment on 31st March of 20, then the business was disrupted, the business was business contracted, you know, there were lockdowns imposed and the business did not go well. So, what the lessee requested the landlord is when this payment came up, right, on 31st March of 21 that, you know, uh, the business is going on to be very difficult, we are not able to, you know, do business as normal. Please consider our request, please waive off rental. So, what the lessor did was, okay, I will waive off the rental, whatever has to be paid on 31st March of 21. Now, look at the accounting perspective. Opening balance is 272, 272. Interest is 13,613. This payment is 0. This payment is 0 because payment is not being done. So, what would be the closing balance? Closing balance would be 285, 885. And if you continue this, now let us hear onwards, you again resume at 1 lakh. This would be 2 lakhs. And lastly, you are left with 1,10,189. So, this is on 22 and this is on 23. And if you see, if you ignore that payment, your closing balance in the liability account would remain at 1,10,189. And this 1 lakh is not to be paid. See, this 10,000 got added because of interest, but that 1 lakh itself is not needed to be paid. Why is it not needed to be paid? Because the lessor has waived it. The lessor has waived it. Now, one option was to consider that waiver of 1 lakh as a lease modification, recompute the lease liability, recompute the, you know, uh, make an adjustment to ROU asset and continue using it. But that is one way to do it. But if the lessee exercises the practical expedient, then this payment which was forgiven by the landlord should be considered as a negative variable payment. What do I mean by that? See, I have not made a payment. I have not made a payment. But did I not did I not get a benefit of 1 lakh from the lesser? Yes, I got a benefit of 1 lakh from the lesser. That's not lease incentive, but it has to be treated as if it is a negative variable payment. See, if you make a variable payment, the entry would be PNL debit to bank for variable payment. So whenever there is a variable payment, you will debit the PNL, you will credit the bank or you will credit the lessor and then from the lessor you will take it through bank. Okay. This is when there is a variable payment. Now, when there is a payment which is not made or when there is a payment which is forgiven by the lessor, what the standard says is, you consider it to be a negative variable payment. So, now what do you mean by negative variable payment? You will credit something to PNL. You will credit something to PNL. But what will I debit? Can I debit bank account? I cannot debit bank account because I do not receive the money, but my liability reduced. So, this liability you will debit by 1 lakh and you will credit the PNL by 1 lakh. So, what you will do is here, this part you will consider it as a negative variable payment of 1 lakh, right? And you will continue to do it. This 60 is because of a rounding of difference. This 1 lakh, the payment which is not made will be considered as a negative variable payment. So, what you do is, this particular 1 lakh, it is not, when I say payment, it is not a payment. This 1 lakh is your reduction in lease liability. So, this 1 lakh, whatever is, you know, waived off, is treated by passing this particular entry, which is debit the lease liability, that is reduce the lease liability and credit the PML. Okay, this is how it has to be done if the entity chooses to apply the practical expedient. Obviously, if the other conditions are satisfied, the other conditions should also be satisfied. Now, what if this agreement to waive of this 1 lakh was entered on 31st of March of 20 itself? Meaning to say, what the landlord told me, what the lessor told is, you make the payment for March 20. March 21, I am waiving it off. Meaning to say, on 31st of March of 20 itself, the rental for the next period has been waived off. Okay. And assuming there are no other conditions attached, okay, there are no other conditions attached, it is an unconditional waiver, then what do you need to do? How do we need to account for that? For that, what you need to do is, the waiver has happened for a 1 lakh amount, which is payable on 31st March of 21. But when did the waiver happen? The waiver happened on 31st March of 20 itself. So, what is required to be done is, you need to calculate the present value of this 1 lakh of waiver as on 31st March of 20. That is to say, present value of 1 lakh waived, present value of 1 lakh waived on 31st March 2020, the waiver happened on 2020, whereas the payment which is waived off was due on 31st March of 21. So, what you need to do is, you need to calculate the present value considering 5% discount factor. So, 1 lakh divided by 1.05. Why 1.05? 5% is a discount factor. So, you get 95,238. This will be considered as a negative variable 
payment. This will be considered as a negative variable payment and in that case the entry will be 95238 reduction from lease liability and 95238 credit to PNL. When will you do this? This entry will be passed on 31st of March of 20 itself. Because on 31st March of 20 itself, there is an unconditional waiver in the lease liability. Now, if you look at this, here the entry would be adjusted as minus 1 lakh minus 95238 and this will be no adjustment here 0. So, this is how the revised lease schedule would look like, right. This 1,95,230 adjustment to lease liability comprises of 1 lakh of payment and 95,238 which is the present value of the lease payment which is waived off for the next period, right. And accordingly, you will, you will continue to use this particular schedule. Now, one thing that you would have noticed here is there is no corresponding adjustment in right of use asset. Whatever is the reduction in lease liability is directly being taken to the PNL as if it is a negative variable payment. If it is a positive variable payment, then you would have debited the PNL. This is considered to be a negative variable payment, right? Now, this is the understanding of the accounting aspects. Uh, may not be tested much in the examination and after 2022. After 30th June of 22, which is the cutoff date for the, you know, rent concession. After that, again, this will have very less significant, but less significance, but still good for us to understand that if at all there is a question in the examination, we should be able to handle this. Let us now look at the conditions which are given in para 46B of India S 116. Okay. The practical expedient in paragraph 46A applies only to rent concessions occurring as a direct consequence of the COVID-19 pandemic and only if all of the following conditions are met. So, first thing is it applies to a rent concession. Second, it has to arise because of a direct consequence of the COVID-19 pandemic. Otherwise, there might be other factors which has resulted in rental concessions. In those cases, you will not apply this particular expedient. Okay. What are the conditions? The first condition is the change in lease payment results in revised consideration for the lease that is substantially the same as or less than the consideration for the lease immediately preceding the change. So, basically whatever is the change, it has to result in either reduced lease payments or substantially the same lease payments. There cannot be any increased lease payments. That is the first thing. Second, any reduction in lease payments affects only payments originally due on or before the 30th of June of 2022. So, the cutoff date is so, the cutoff date for reduction in rentals is 30th of June of 2022. So, there can be reduction in rentals till the time of 30th of June of 2022. After that, there can be an increase as well. Okay, But the reduction cutoff period is 30th June of 2022. If the reduction is beyond this period, then this condition is not satisfied. Okay, Then the third condition is there is no substantive change to other terms and conditions of the lease. So, there is a rental concession, but apart from that, there are no substantial changes to other terms and conditions. For example, rent might be reduced asking the lessee to give up some part of that asset. So, other terms and conditions are substantially changing. So, this should also not happen. So, basically, the right of use asset should remain the same. There has to be a rental concession considering either the payment should be substantially same or should be less than the originally agreed lease rentals. And the cutoff period is 30th of June of 2022. So, any reduction in payments will apply only till 30th of June of 2022 and after that there can be increase in rentals. So, if all of these three conditions are satisfied, then the lessee can choose the practical expedient and consider that the change is not a modification in the lease and account for it accordingly.